Michael and I decided to write this book because we've been using rules of notice, which is an idea from Peter Rabinowitz's Before Reading, for 25 years now. And we've both found it to be very, very useful and helpful in drawing kids' attention to the cues and codes that authors put into text. And English teachers often are pretty good at teaching literature, but don't know how to help kids to notice and interpret things when it comes to informational text. But we found that putting them in these categories of moves help the kids to understand them with some simplicity. Even though the list of things you might do by understanding these are the three kind of moves we make and these are the things you got to notice in each move really help the kids to understand it and they get so adept at using them they're bringing new examples uh, to us and then they're helping to create the knowledge with us. Uh, one of the big differences we found in our classrooms is that the kids become very good at describing what a writer did and what meaning and effect follow. That means that they become much better at monitoring their own reading and monitoring their own writing. Reading's complex. We get after that complexity by having tools that help us to learn how to help kids learn how to meet the demands of that complexity. And then we learn from our students how to do it even better, and the students learn from each other how to do it even better. And then you have a community of practice of people who are talking in consciously competent ways about what it means to be a reader, what you gotta notice, what you gotta do with the stuff you notice.